Hi, I'm Michaela from Questacon, the National Science and Technology Centre in Canberra. We're very close to having the technology to send humans to Mars, but there's a lot to consider beforehand. What would it be like to live on Mars? Could humans survive? Could we stay healthy? And should we even be sending humans to Mars when we already have our own planet here on Earth? We asked experts in the space industry to see what they think. Should we be sending humans to Mars? Mars is just sitting there as a really interesting place to go. So absolutely we should, but we should go when we're ready. I have some ethical concerns about going to Mars one way and not planning to come home. And if we're going to send people to Mars, I think we need to be able to do it safely, that we don't expect people to you know, risk their lives unnecessarily to travel. But I do think it is a quest uh, for us. Uh, because what an amazing, uh, you know, Sibley planet to Earth to have and to really go see a place that probably three or four billion years ago looked a lot like Earth. I think it's a very controversial question as well, whether we should go to Mars. Um, I think it really depends on what the motivation is. If we want to go and explore and not impact the environment on Mars, I think they are good intentions, but I don't think we should be going to Mars in an attempt to um, continue our unsustainable ways that have led us to a point on Earth that is unsustainable. I don't think our goals for going to Mars should be to continue that unsustainable lifestyle. I think there is a real opportunity to understand and explore, and it goes to humanity's desire to understand the great unknown. We have done that for many, 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 many uh, generations. But importantly, if we do explore other planets, we have to appreciate and look after the planets that we're going to, ensure that the investigations that we do ensure that that is supported for others that may come after us. The answer to that is, it depends. <laughs> it depends on what you're going to do there. Uh, because uh, the idea of humans walking on another planet is clearly something that inspires all of us. And my answer to the idea of exploring Mars is that yes, we should. Humans should explore the planet Mars. But whether we should go and try and colonise Mars, make it an offshoot of the Earth, I think that's a different question and involves all kinds of ethical considerations that I don't think we've really come to terms with yet. For example, we might find that Mars is inhabited, uh, not by creatures like ourselves, but by microbes, microbial organisms. Uh, then have we got the right to go and trample all over these little organisms who might in a few billion years flourish into something more like ourselves? These are ethical questions that I think we've got to face. So the answer to your question, should we go to Mars, is yes and no. I believe that we should. I think that we make extraordinary leaps of technology, of cooperation, of learning when we set ourselves these audacious goals, when we go to the moon and now beyond. Those things inspire generations, they drive technological change, they make us a better world because we have done the extraordinary and shown to ourselves that we can. Absolutely, humans should go to Mars. I don't think that we should go to Mars, no. I don't think we're ready. Uh, we live on a planet which has absolutely every single resource that we need in abundance. We have more than enough for humanity, we just don't have enough for our greed. And we're kind of stuck in this immature stage of humanity where we're competing with each other, we're still fighting with each other over belief systems, over resources. Um, we've got to figure that stuff out before we go and try and establish a new human settlement on another planet. And I also don't think we're ready because we're talking about colonising Mars. And colonization brings with it a history of destruction, competition, violence, displacement of indigenous people. So I'm not saying there are indigenous people on Mars, but if we take that mentality with us, it could be a Lord of the Flies scenario. But I do think that it's inevitable that we will go to Mars. My hope is just that, that the people who go to Mars will take with them uh, 
the opportunity, they'll embrace the opportunity to really start something new where it's a society of cooperation and interdependence. There's no way I'm going to Mars, but perhaps my daughter will go. And if she does, I really hope that I can instill in her the values that will make the difference. So what do you think? There's still so many things about Mars and the universe that we're yet to discover. We live in an amazing time of space exploration, and I can't wait to see where our curiosity and persistence takes us.